What's up, YouTube? Um, I put up a video about a week ago just um, giving you a little update on what uh, my new little toy here, my Bogart trimetric meter. But um, I'm going to give a more detailed video on um, kind of what this thing does um, and give some more specifics. But um, anyway, basically what this, this is a battery monitor and the main purpose of this thing is it will monitor your battery amp hours and the percentage of the batteries giving you an accurate um, full an accurate hundred percent accurate percentage of actually how much power is left in your system um, these meters um, also give you a readout of what's your battery voltage um, how many amps are going into the batteries at this time so we're putting in 16 Point two, sixteen, something like that. Sixteen amps, fourteen amps into the batteries at this moment, and right now we're at ninety-seven percent. Um, this just kind of helps you maintain your battery bank. Um, batteries, the doesn't matter how much you spend on batteries. If you don't take care of them, they're going to fall apart eventually. They're not going to last very long. Um, and this helps you just know, okay, well, it's been a cloudy day today, and I haven't been able to put the power back in, so let me check my meter. Okay, well, I'm at 70%. I've definitely got to get some more power into these, so you're going to have to figure out how to charge them back up. Um, it just helps you know what's actually happening on your system. If you've been gone a couple days, you're not sure what's going on, this thing keeps up, keeps up with it, and it'll be able to tell you everything. Um, if you hold down the select button in the middle... Um, it gives you the remaining amp hours that are missing from the battery. So like right now, um, I have 27.2 amps hours miss left till I'm charged. Um, you guys will be probably seeing this lights blinking up here. Um, that's supposed to be when it's charged. I still have a couple settings to figure out. That um, but anyway. So once this gets to zero, that means my batteries are truly charged, and um, my percentage once I go back over there will be at 100%. Um, this also gives you a day since charged um, in zero days and once again this would be a lot closer it'd be like 0.05 or something because I'm not fully charged yet but when this light in indicates it resets the day since charged day since equalized if you had flooded batteries you can program this thing to tell you when you want to equalize so it just gives you a reminder which is what this um, little light is here it'll blink and then it's got a CHF for time to ch fully charge, uh, CHE, uh, time to equalize, and BLO, battery low voltage. Um, but um, anyway, that, um, and also in the secondary settings, which you, that's what it's called by holding down the select button, um, it'll give you amps, I mean, sorry, uh, watts. So right now we're putting in 100 and almost 120, 140. Um, 100, almost 200 amps into the watts. Sorry, into the battery. Um, you can switch it where the watts um, instead of amps, it per says watts, and then other way around. Once you go back to the secondary settings, which obviously you hold down the button again, and this will be reading amps instead of the previous meter. But um, this thing is. I love it. Um, I saw a lot of videos, I mean, from Europe, Asia, um, Australia, Africa, America, with tons of people having these on their systems. Um, they're definitely worth it. So um, this is a piece, this is a serious piece of equipment. Um, nice casing. There is another model, the TM uh, 2025, um, and I think it's 25A. Um, that one's blue. It's more box covered. I think it's designed you can just put it like into a, if you've got a box already, you can cut a hole and put it in there. The reason I like this one um, is because it comes with the box and you can mount it and it's just got screws at the top and bottom and I have it mounted a piece of block core in the back. But um, this one costs exactly the exact cost of the other one. They're exactly the same as in what they can do except one has a box and um, an enclosure with it and this one's a little bit smaller which I like um, but anyway that's up to you this one can read two different battery voltages so if you want to have um, especially if you're an RV maybe that's why they call it the RV I don't know exactly but um, if you have a starter battery and the battery in your RV that you're using to run your 12 volt stuff or whatever you can monitor two different um, battery banks two different batteries so that's nice I don't have that set up right now because I only have I don't have a battery, another battery bank nearby I, can, I would like to monitor. But um, anyway, 
if you follow this cord up here, uh, this gray one, um, it goes up into the ceiling and then goes over here to where my batteries are. Um, I've got four 120, uh, two, sorry, 220 amp hour batteries. And if you can see right there, there's my shunt. Um, let me see if I can get a better look at this. There you go. Um, this one right here um, goes over to my battery terminal, my common, my black, and then I have my inverter and my controller hooked up to this side. So this is monitoring how much uh, current goes across and it does that by looking at the millivolts and comparing on each side. Okay, well, if it, it and this is a millivolt, so it's very small, but anyway, that's how that works. Um, if you go up here, I need to fix this up, but my controller has a load port over here, so all of my DC stuff runs through here, which is then monitored via the shunt. So anything that I use um, is in DC stuff. I have a water pump. I have a, this is the meter. I have a voltmeter in there. And then the light up, this light in here, I have is a 12-volt DC bulb, but um, runs through the controller, which is then monitored by the shunt. So um, everything um, that I use for my, my system runs through that shunt in some way at some time or another. But um, anyway, um, if I was going to be putting the system together and there were a couple things, um, what would be necessary? Um, batteries, panels, controller, inverter. I would definitely include this, this meter. Um, incredible value. Um, I paid about $170 for the meter um, and the shunt, and I just, uh, yeah, so depending on where you are shipping, obviously, um, I had to find some heavy gauge wire to add onto that, but just a couple extra dollars, so no big deal, but, um, this is going to save your battery bank, um, I see people spending $20,000 on, um, equipment, and they come, and they give me a call, my system's failed, after two years, they have $6,000 worth of batteries that have been wasted, and are no longer good because they have not properly charged them for two years and the batteries are shot and these are expensive systems. Um, you have to have a way to monitor how much power is in your battery bank. What is my percentage? Um, it is key to any system, doesn't matter how big it is. So you need to figure out this to get this meter or some other meter which is monitoring how much power is actually in my battery bank. Um, so. I know like Outback for instance, if you have an Outback inverter, an Outback uh, controller, you can get the Outback DC monitoring system that all hooks up to the mate um, and that will basically be, it does this right here except it's all one component. It is a bit more expensive, it looks really nice and um, if I could have redone the system I really wish we could have gone Outback. But um, extra money, um, extra features, they're definitely worth it but um, if you've already got the stuff and you don't want to invest in that. I would definitely recommend getting this meter. Um, it will save you a ton of guessing. Are my batteries charged? Are they not charged? How much power am I using? Um, but yeah, something I think I missed. If you um, here at the amps, you'll see there's this little bar over here. Um, and basically this little light indicator just here to the side. At nighttime when I'm no longer charging with my batteries, um, with my panel, sorry. This will come on and tell me how many amps are coming out of the battery bank. Um, and exactly, uh, and, and the other way, um, if I hold down, go to my secondary menu, this will give me how many amp, amp watts are coming out. Just the same. So it kind of gives you an idea. Okay, I'm using 150 watts right now. Um, what am I running? I didn't think I was using much power right now, but uh, holy cow, yes, I am. So it um, gives you just an idea of what's happening. Um, Another thing, these have three settings, um, L1, L2, and L3. L1 is the easiest. It comes with a couple of different things you can change. That's about it. L2 is a little bit more extensive, extra stuff. L3 gives you a lot of extra data. Um, I did not know that when I bought this meter. It just gives you more stuff. So this is in a cabin or you're, it's set up for a friend or something. They're having issues. You can look at history from a very long time. Um, and it will just try to explain, okay, well, he's been killing his batteries every day, so he needs to figure something out. So it just gives you extra information. But um, anyway, 
Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any suggestions or like any comments on this video, please leave them below in the comment box. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Um, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching and have a good day. God bless.